As most of you know, I've taken quite a bit of a break from social media this year. And during that time, I've also taken quite a long break from art in general. Let's just say life hasn't been that kind, especially this year. And my heart just really wasn't into the spirit of creating at all. So things in this little art nook just lay dormant and actually got quite messy, waiting until I could return to my creative nook. But before getting back into the groove of things, this little art nook needed quite a bit of cleaning. Over the time of laying dormant, things just started to pile up, specifically new paint colors and supplies that I had purchased, basically trying to tempt me back into that creative spirit and into this artistic oasis. But like I said, my mood just was not there. That is until now. So to just kind of warm up my creative juices, I started by organizing and even purging a lot of old items that had just lived past their lifespan. I then started creating specific locations to store and even display items so that I wouldn't forget that I had them. Yeah, that was a thing. I actually forgot a lot of the supplies that I had ordered over this basically seven month period of being away from YouTube and social media. I forgot a lot of the supplies that I had purchased over that time and so they needed a special little nook where I would remember them and be able to jump back into using them. So one thing that I learned over the break, um, and I kind of had an idea about it, but to be honest, I really, really understood, kind of got got smacked on the head with this information, but I very much have ADD. And often I forget about projects as well as items that I've purchased if they aren't in view. So basically if I can't see them um, and it hasn't been designated basically a space for my brain to say, oh yeah, that's there. My brain basically has selective amnesia and forgets the item completely ever existed. And that's why sometimes I end up with multiples of one particular item. <laughs> Hence the reason before I started getting back into the creative jive of things, I decided to create an organized system for my paints. Now for years, I've been organizing my paints, usually on hooks. You've probably seen that in the past. Um, and they've been on display basically in my art studio, which worked perfectly except for one problem. And that problem was basically when the paint tubes were being hung upside down, the paint would often explode from the paint cap anytime I would open these paints, which resulted in a really big mess and it basically wasted paint. And this is especially important because I like to use fresh watercolors basically fresh from the tube whenever I'm painting. This is how I achieve those really bright and vibrant paint colors in my paintings. So in order to alleviate this particular problem, I tried storing my paints in plastic containers as well as drawers, um, basically any way to keep them from exploding out. But I didn't really like these different types of methods because I could not see my paints basically displayed and organized out for me. And as a result, whenever I was painting, it was really hard to find the particular color that I wanted and to grab it quickly, which if you have been painting with watercolor, you realize this is very, very important. Timing is a crucial issue when you're painting, especially wet on wet or wet on dry even. Just trying to work through a flow your timing really has to be perfect. Hence the reason why I really like the old method of hanging them on hooks, except for the fact that they would basically explode paint out whenever I opened the tubes. So with some creative thinking, I came across an inexpensive jewelry pocket organizer. The pockets were about the same size as many of my 14 milliliter paint tubes. So I purchased a really nice fancy hook to hang on the wall and then I proceeded to organize all of my paints into these particular pockets along with square swatch paint color cards to basically help me remember what that individual color would paint on paper. 
And that is how this paint organizer system was born. Another thing that I really like about this particular organizer, the way it's set up, is I can move it anywhere I want to. So if I really want my paints to follow me to the art table over there, I can just pick it up from the hook and move it over. And basically I will mount it on the camera mount that I'm filming with overhead. But if you have something just simple with a hook on it, the same thing will work. So basically this little thing solves all of my issues. First off, it makes it really easy to organize and display all my paints. It makes it easy to move it around wherever I may be painting. If I decide I don't want to paint in this particular room, I just pick up that little organizer and take it with me. And it also makes it really nice and efficient to pull my paints out really, really quickly since they're basically little pockets. So yeah, that's my little pocket organizer that I created over my break. I didn't do that during the whole time that I was gone. <laughs> I basically did that a couple of weeks ago, but um, I wanted to share that with you before I get into trying out new projects and just kind of getting back into the groove of things on YouTube. I am not going to be on a schedule. I'm just going to upload whenever I feel like it. And so if you really want to be along on this journey with me, make sure to subscribe, make sure to ring that bell, as well as follow me on other types of social media, such as Instagram or Facebook, or even via newsletter and inside of Watercolor Misfit Land, you will get more extra kind of info videos inside of Watercolor Misfit Land. I'm planning on some really cool projects inside of there, if you're interested in that. And for... Basically here, it's just going to be tips and hacks and vlogs and just basically whatever I feel like at that particular moment um, making. I'm really this year trying to just go with my creative drive and whatever I feel like making for that particular week, I am going to put all forces into that and just play around with whatever it is. So it might be just a talkie video, it might be a tip, it might be a product I actually have a whole bunch of new products that I've been purchasing, like I said earlier. Um, so I have a lot of stuff to play around with. Um, it's kind of overwhelming, but I will be doing that along and along whenever I feel like it. So anyway, lots of love y'all. Hope you enjoyed this video once again, and I will see you next time. Bye.